A quick glance at this Shanghai restaurant doesn't show anything unusual until you realize that waiters are nowhere in sight. At least the kind of waiters one normally thinks of. Here, the robots do the work. In a traditional restaurant, from queuing to entering the restaurant to seating and ordering to the chef and serving food, it is all a series of steps to go through. With our digitized system, these steps can be performed in a closed circuit. For example, customers can order before they have been seated. And customers seem to like what the restaurant is dishing up. Selecting dishes and placing an order is all done through the app, so it is quite convenient. The robots deliver the food. There are no traditional waiters serving. I think it's quite original. So these advantages make it really convenient and high-tech. Food is served much faster here than other restaurants, and it's also very hygienic. The ingredients are fresh from the supermarket here, and that gives some assurance. And the price is right for the restaurant as well. Robots are cheaper than their human counterparts. Staff costs are getting higher and higher, and in Shanghai, a waiter can cost more than $1,400 a month. And by keeping staff costs down, the restaurant can pass along lower prices to consumers. The price is very reasonable. The restaurant is an initiative of Chinese e-commerce giant Alibaba. Right next to the diner is a semi-automated supermarket. Shoppers order on a mobile app. The items are then delivered via conveyor tracks on the ceiling and sent to checkout. Alibaba now has 57 of these supermarkets in the country, all of which will eventually feature the robotic restaurants. Experts believe China will see more automated services to help compensate for a shrinking labor force. The government estimates that after 2020, the labor supply will drop by 100 million every 15 years. But Beijing is trying to avoid job losses by bolstering its service sector instead of relying on manufacturing as China has in the past. Though the cost of robots may still be too high for widespread consumer use, diners like these are happy to get a taste of their potential. Francis Coe, CGTN.